What is going on, guys? Making a whoop video today on Marilyn. She is our newest baby, and she is literally a baby. Look at this thing. She is tiny, tiny, tiny. She's a hog nose. She's a baby, baby, baby. I think she might be three months old. Maybe. Maybe two. I'm not sure. I know we've only had her for a few weeks. I think she's two months because we had to wait six weeks to get her. So the guy could make sure she was eating right. And uh, this is Marilyn. I'm not going to be able to have her out long because as you can tell, she doesn't do very good. <laughs> she's not used to being held. She's still a baby. She's very flighty right now. So, look at that. Look at that black belly. She's a cutie. She doesn't wrap up really good to hold on. Um, she just fell a second ago. So luckily, I got carpet. Uh, but this is Marilyn. And let me put her up. And I will be right back, guys. Sorry. Alright, guys. I'm back. I had to put her up. She's a little wild still uh, she's still a little feisty um, she's only a baby uh, like I mentioned she's not even as big around as my pinky finger so she's tiny she may be as thick as a number two pencil um, maybe on a good day <laughs> uh, and she's only about six inches long maybe and that might be giving her some <laughs> Uh, she's tiny, tiny, tiny. She's eating pinkies, uh, mouse pinkies, right now. Um, we're starting to feed her in a separate little, um, the little container she came in. We're having to put the pinky in it and put her in it, close the lid and cover it and get it dark for her to eat. Um, but she is eating. Uh, let's see. Well, I say that. She's only eating once for us, so we've only had her for, she might not even be two weeks old, guys. Or, I'm sorry, two months old. It was the first time she's eaten. And I think it... I think he fed her on a Wednesday. And we skipped the next Wednesday and went to Friday. Which is the day we feed all of them. Uh, but anyhow. Um, she's looking good. She's just got to be held a little more often. Uh, to get used to being handled. It's like any other animal. You know, the more you interact with them, the more likely they are to calm down. And hang out a little bit oh. so that was Marilyn she is a het albino uh, conda I think is what that guy said conda het albino normal pattern conda het albino it's a lot happening uh, not really sure um, but she like I said she's I don't think she's two months old yet she's very close though um, but not quite. If she is too much, she's just barely too much. So there's that. She uh, she's a lot smaller than the guys I showed, or the one I showed you guys yesterday, um, which was Monroe. Monroe's pretty good size. He's a, probably as big around as a penny. I guess you hold up a penny. It's about the size of a penny. Um, and he's probably 12 inches, maybe. Mm, that may be given given or taken a little bit here or there um, but he's he's probably four times her size as far as body mass goes uh, but we'll feed her up and uh, I'll do a lot of updates on her um, and we'll get her up to size and see what happens she's an awesome little snake uh, like I said she's a little flighty she's really active uh, in the daytime she's very very active most of your, well, all of your hog noses are going to be active in the daylight hours. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see the window behind me, but it's getting close to starting to get dark here in about an hour. So, uh, she was already bedded down underneath her bedding and uh, getting ready to sleep, I guess, is what she was doing. But, anyhow, um, that's Marilyn. Yes, we have Marilyn Monroe. Uh... We have Marilyn as the female, of course, and Monroe as the male. And we will uh, eventually, when she's old enough, uh, I read an uh, article the other day that said hog noses only have to be two years old. Uh, the females only have to be two to breed. So we still got two years 
so it's a long process, but we're going to wait it out and uh, hopefully have some hog nose babies. Uh, you never know. You never know what could come. We'll see. Um, let's see, what other updates do I have? Um, still the same amount of rats. Uh, no new pinkies. Uh, no new mouse pinkies. Um, still have seven mice. Uh, let's see. The three rats are three rat babies are about three and a half weeks old now. I think if I was in the other room, I could look at the calendar and tell you for sure. Um, but I am not in there, so I cannot tell you uh, right now. When I go back on the next video, if I don't forget, I'll uh, make sure I give you guys that update. Uh, the next video that I do will be probably with my boa uh, Negan like I said he's still he's still just a baby um, he's still really young uh, I do I do want to get him to eat before so I may do a video in between a few videos in between here and there uh, but I want to let him eat and then after he eats I'm gonna give him a day or so uh, before I handle him to let make sure he's digesting properly um, let's see and the uh, leopard gecko videos are coming uh, the one I don't think I'll have a problem showing the other one may end up like Marilyn and only be on there for just a second um, he's still not used to being handled either way I say he I don't know he's too young to tell if he's male or female um, but we have one that is similar to a tangerine uh, leopard gecko not a hundred percent sure what the actual genealogy is on that leopard gecko but uh, and from what I've been reading it's hard to tell unless the breeder tells you uh, so and the lady that we got him from did tell us I think she told us what he or she was and I just cannot recall what she said um, but he's an orange he's a bright orange and has white stripes on him I'll show you guys him um uh, soon and then uh, the other one I'll show you him as well but I gotta handle him a little more to get him used to being handled or have my daughter they're actually my daughters both of the leopard geckos belong to my daughter so I'll have to get her to handle them a little bit more to um, kind of tame them down I guess uh, the one like I said is fine he's he's he just wants to check everything out he'll run up and down your arm and around and hang out but um, I'm afraid he's still little, he's still young, so I'm afraid to let him do too much. I don't want him to fall or anything, get hurt. Um, so the one on Negan, uh, my boa, again, he's a, a BCI boa, he's a Central American. Um, that will be coming, like I said, that'll be coming shortly. I don't want to make any promises on what day or when that'll be coming out, but it will be shortly. Um, he is still, like I said, he's still getting over the whole being quarantined thing and shedding and, and mites and, and all that stuff. So he, he's had a pretty rough go of it here lately. So I want to make sure he's doing better before I get him out too much and handle him. Uh, he does love being handled. Um, he's a very calm, calm snake. Uh, I got some funny stories to tell about him when he's on camera, uh, but he'll wrap around your arm here and uh, he'll just hang out for however long you want him to uh, but anyhow back to the hog noses we have two um, we have a male and a female uh, the female is the one I showed in this video and she is still very young and very small um, she's still very intimidated of us uh, like because we're so much bigger I'm sure you know uh, and she's still just a baby so we uh, when we first got her, we put her in. She's in a 10-gallon aquarium right now, uh, which is plenty for an animal that's that big. Uh, but that was probably the biggest space that she's ever been able to occupy by herself. And I don't know what that was that's making that noise out there. Um, but it's probably the biggest area that she's been able to occupy by herself. Uh, so she's kind of went a little wild going back and forth back and forth trying to check everything out uh, now she's calmed down quite a bit to that uh, 
so we got a few things in there not many but it's just a 10 gallon so there's not a whole lot of room for much I do have a PVC pipe running under in the bedding so she can go in and out of she doesn't use it but it's there if she wanted to excuse me and I have a bowl um, with the thing cut out so she can crawl in it for a hide she doesn't really use that much either she's so small she just goes underneath the bedding and it's perfectly fine for her um, yeah I guess that's about it that's all I got I'm trying to think before I get off of here if there's anything else um, don't know when this video is going up not sure how many people are going to get a chance to see it but there is a reptile expo Saturday June 27th I want to say it's in Hartsfield Alabama I may be wrong about the name of the city which is a terrible thing to do but I believe that's it um, it's kind of exciting I unfortunately I won't be able to attend I'll be working but the just to see the reptile expos coming back around is a very exciting time for us here uh, I'm excited to see if we have a bigger one um, Repticon show up maybe uh, they used to come to South Haven I live in Mississippi and they would come to South Haven and that was a pretty awesome show had a pretty good turnout um, so hopefully that'll happen they just had one I believe they just had one last weekend or last Saturday in Montgomery Alabama um, I wasn't able to attend that one either uh, it was Father's Day weekend so I think I made a video on that we stayed around here um, but anyhow as far as I know that's the only the only one coming up that I know of and that's the only two that I've heard about if I hear about any more coming up in the near future I'll make sure to keep you guys updated and posted and uh, the next one that I get to attend I'll make sure that I bring you guys along so I can show you everything that's going on and if you've never been you'll be able to check it out and see if it's something you'd be interested in um, that's all I got I will see you guys on the next one enjoy the rest of your evening See ya.